Canmore, west of Canmore in Alberta on November 11th, 2002. And we've climbed about two and a half, three hours. And just give you a, a view of the gorgeous, gorgeous mountains covered with snow. And today is kind of a special day. My father would have been 84 today if he would still be alive. And he taught me how to hunt and enjoy the outdoors and not waste anything. So his spirit carries through to these gorgeous mountains. Gorgeous place. And not too cold, it's just a little below freezing. But we got nice snow. Perfect day. I'm here with Flint Simpson and he's showing me the way. We've climbed another 10 minutes and we're looking back down the valley that we've climbed up towards Three Sisters. And Three Sisters is the famous peaks that you see from Canmore but from much lower elevation. But they're quite visible and gorgeous. Climb quite a ways. Ban Canmore is about 4,500 feet and our camp we're going to is about 6,000 feet, and the saddle over the top is about 6,800, so we're probably up here about, oh, 5,500 feet right now. And we've not seen a sheep, but the three sisters look quite gorgeous. Well, we, uh, about an hour ago, put up camp down at about 6,000 feet. You can see we've gained quite a bit of elevation. I try to take some pictures of this on the way up, but we're headed up to a pass at 6,800. I'm probably about 65 or 6,600 right now. But I'll just give you a quick little view around. Gorgeous mountains. Long ways up. On November 11th, 2002. It's got to be about uh, quarter to four in the afternoon. It's starting to snow on us. But I'll give you just a flavor of the gorgeous view and how high we are. Looking across the mountains and we got a moon starting to peek its way through. And here's a view up here. And there's the next pass. Where the other camp is, where they set up the other camp. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Six of which with about a 50 pound pack through the snow. Look what this is for, this is glorious. And Banff National Park is just behind us, about probably. Half you can a mile. see where they've been feeding the patch of ground right there that's been chewed up. And we found one ewe right at the base of those trees. And then, unbelievably, another ewe came running in right across there and went into those trees up there. And I'll just show you a little bit of the mountain here. How far up we are. And uh, the top of the White Mountain there, the height of the land is Banff National Park. So on this side is Legal to Hunt and on that side is the park. We've climbed a long ways up here. A good day, time to get home before it gets dark on us. We've walked about 10 minutes out of camp here on Tuesday morning, November 12th, 2002. And this is the kind of majesty that we've come upon immediately. Unbelievable morning. Rocks that stick straight up in the air. Gorgeous, gorgeous morning. Well, we've climbed quite a way up the mountain. The way you can tell is uh, that sheer cliff right there in the middle of the picture is the one that we looked up at straight up in the air from camp. So we've come up quite a ways. And if you look through the valley here, you'll see it's quite gorgeous. But what's most gorgeous of all, there was a U that was with us on the other side. Just above those trees, we found uh, 
We found nine rams. One looks legal, there may be a second one that's legal. And there are about 20, 25 ewes of them. So we found rams, but you can see how high they are. And that's the top, the top of the height of land is Banff National Park on the other side. But here is just a, a view of how gorgeous it is. On Tuesday morning, November 12, 2002, archery hunting for Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep on the top of the world. Well, we found the rams. The rams were in that bunch of timber right there. And they walked over and they're crossing through that ravine and headed to some ewes over in there. So we're going to try to get right about in the center of the picture. See if we can get them to come to us or be around the ewes. But it's gorgeous, gorgeous country. There's another bunch of rams, but not as big up there. But this is a, a good ram to shoot. But he's right in that ravine. And we'll try to get him in right about there. Hopefully we'll be able to get a shot in about there. As you can see, it started to snow just a little bit, but also we've got a bunch of rams up here. Well, it's a little after one o'clock on Tuesday, November 12th, 2002, and I just made a shot from right there on a nice big ram, and he was right up there. The bow sight wouldn't turn over. I don't know what's wrong, the colt or whatever, but I took the 30-yard pin and aimed just a little higher than middle on him, and we hit him, but he's back, hit back just a little. We've seen lots of blood, and we're not going to push him. But he's probably hit back just a little from what he should be. But we're going to give you a, a view around the mountains. It is just stupendous. And a 30-yard shot on a Rocky Mountain bighorn sheep here on the top of the world. The day before my 54th birthday. We're excited. <laughs> and we're excited. <laughs> And Frank and Flint Simpson have guided me, unlike any other sheep hunt I've ever been on in my life. We don't try to stay invisible, we try to stay visible and just sort of irregularly wander towards the sheep. We've probably been wandering towards these sheep for almost two hours. Probably. Probably almost two hours. But the last hour plus, they were clearly in view and we had uh, another legal ram walk up to within three rams come up to us and investigate us at 30 yards. It was legal, but not quite right, and we kept on this. And one time the bow didn't quite work at a, on a 40-yard shot, and we let down, and 
and Flint kept saying, you don't get this many chances. <laughs> but unfor but unfor unfortunately, he was incorrect. No chance. And uh, just take a look at, uh, at a master guide having a sandwich. <laughs> Frank, Frank Simpson does a great job up high here in the Rocky Mountains. Look at this view. It's a great place. of the world, right on the corner of Banff National Park. That height of the land right there on the other side is Banff National Park. Gorgeous, gorgeous country. I want you to absorb it and see how much fun it was walking through all this in the snow and the side hills and the slippery. I didn't have quite as good a points on the bottom of my boots as I had plus. Flint and Frank put a little less weight on the mountain when they pushed down, so I would step on places where they wouldn't slide and I'd get to ski a little bit. Gorgeous though, look at the day, the day before my 54th birthday and the day after my dad's birthday. Very spectacular day. It may be the earliest day that they've ever gotten a ram here, the Simpsons. Gorgeous day. Here we are on my birthday, November 13th, 2002. High in the Rocky Mountains in Alberta with a monster Rocky Mountain Bighorn Ram that we shot yesterday but ran out of light and didn't find it until today. As you can see, the mountains and the sun are shining on us. Whoa, I lost a couple things. I grabbed them, that's all right. We got a little action in the camera. But uh, he was uh, a band of about 13 rams and we snuck quite a while on them. And Finally got a shot at 30 yards and saw the arrow go through him and he went about 100 yards and laid down. Unfortunately we ran out of light and found him the next day, but he's a gorgeous ram. Looks like he'll score in the high 150s, he's 32 and a half. On that right horn it tips out nicely. And we got him bow and arrow and now that the bow and arrow will stay there, I'll see if I can twist him around a little bit. And as you can see I was in all white camo which I think helps quite a bit. But uh, our cameraman, Frank Simpson and, and, uh, and Flint Simpson were the ones that guided me into them. It's awesome to be able to get it in this unbelievable wide open country. And these rams are very heavy. He probably is 275 pounds, but you can get him with a bow and arrow. I had drawn on him before that at about 40 yards, but he moved and went in with the other rams. And there was too much chance of hitting other rams, so I didn't shoot. And we had a little trouble when I shot. The rangefinder had fogged up, so we had to guess the distance, but the 30-yard pin worked rather well. Also, the peep sight didn't quite come around. We had a little help trying to get the peep sight. I ultimately had to do it with my nose, but we got the shot. Arrow went right through, and we all saw the hit. Gorgeous, gorgeous ram. How do you have a better time than this?